Little House on the Prairie follows a family living on a farm near the neighborly town of Walnut Grove, Minnesota in the 1870s and 1880s. Based on Laura Ingalls Wilder's best-selling series of Little House books, 204 episodes were aired over a period of 10 years. The first episode aired on September 11, 1974. Laura Ingalls Wilder, born 1867 in a little house in the Wisconsin woods, was educated in a one-room school. In 1869, the family moved to Indian Territory in Kansas, where Carrie Ingalls was born in 1870. In 1871, after being forced out of this area, they returned to the Wisconsin woods. In 1874, the family moved to the banks of Plum Creek near Walnut Grove, Minnesota. Newborn Freddie Ingalls became very ill and sadly died at the age of nine months. In 1876, a short stay in Burr Oak, Iowa, where Pa worked in the Master's Hotel and then later in a grist mill, while the family lived in the Burr Oak House. The Ingalls girls attended the Burr Oak Schoolhouse. In 1877, the year Grace Ingalls was born, they returned to Walnut Grove. In 1879, Dakota Territory near the town of DeSmet. 1881, Mary left DeSmet to attend the Iowa College for the Blind. Laura and Almanzo Wilder met here in DeSmet and married 1885. At over 60 years old in 1930 and with America descending into Great Depression, Laura sat down and wrote her first manuscript, Pioneer Girl, which was rejected by every publisher who read it. So Wilder reworked it into a collection of nine novels, which were published between 1932 and 1943. Nellie Olison was a combination of three unpleasant people Laura knew as a child. Country girls. Laura felt this book contained accounts which would not be appropriate for children. She saw a man become so drunk that when he lit a cigar, the whiskey fumes on his breath ignited and killed him instantly. Nearly a century later, Ed Friendly, a successful television producer, was looking after his sick daughter when he noticed her reading one of the Little House books. He picked it up, hid it inside a folded newspaper, and carried it into his office with a vision of what it could be. It took Ed 11 months of negotiations with Harper and Rowe Publishing to obtain the rights to the Little House books. Ed had different views to Michael Landon on how the show was to be made. Ed wanted to keep the storyline true to the books, whilst Michael wanted the show to be more about family. So he resigned his position and was replaced by Kent McRae. They knew Michael wanted to act, and they also knew that he wanted to produce, after 15 years of playing lead role Little Joe in the hit series Bonanza. Easy Joe, easy. So they offered him the position of executive producer with Ed Friendly. Landon believed the show should portray the American values with the aim of improving our socially self-destructive society that keeps getting worse. Veteran TV writer Blanche Hanelis developed the TV series and wrote the teleplay for the TV movie, or pilot, Little House on the Prairie. The local exteriors were shot at Big Sky Ranch in California. The Ingalls homestead and Walnut Grove town facades were built in April and May of 1974. These buildings were not filmable inside as they were wooden shells. The show had a lease on the land for 10 years all of the filming was done during daytime hours. In 1999, Lisa Sanders visited what remained. Inside the replica of the little house, the fireplace was made of synthetic material. Carrie's bed frame lay on the floor, and the walls were wooden instead of the fine plaster shown on the show. The hill used in the opening credits was next to the little house. Wire flowers lined this hill and caused Sidney Greenbush to fall over. She refused to do another take, so Landon decided to leave it. 1.1 miles from the little house, the town contained the church or schoolhouse, Olson's Mercantile, the restaurant, ice house, stable, mill, Doc Baker's, post office, rooms, blacksmiths, the bank, feed and seed, and the honey wagons, long trucks which contained several small dressing rooms. A water pump forced water down the Plum Creek River. The famous pond, earlier and later Wilder Homestead, Blind School, and the Garvey Edwards Farm 
they shared the same set, stood less than a mile from the town. Disney's Golden Oak Bridge was also featured in the Little House TV series. Interiors were shot at Paramount Studio in Hollywood on stages 31 and 32. Directly above the stage floors were catwalks and lighting equipment hidden out of camera range. The interior sets of the Ingalls home were built on stage 31. The house, yard, and the barn shared this stage. Exterior night scenes of the Ingalls house were also filmed here. Stage 32 contained the interiors of the church or schoolhouse, Olson's Mercantile, and Doc Baker's, as well as any others they had to be built. You can see the industrial fans here blowing the artificial snow made of super absorbent polymers. The interior and exterior sets were three-sided. The walls could be moved by the grips. We can see here the usual camera position behind the table has been replaced with a wall. This is just an example of how Michael Landon and Camp McRae would go out of their way to film it perfectly, inside or out. At Paramount, the floor in one area could be lowered to create a sunken cement barrier, as seen in the episode Quarantine. The pit was filled with water to create the effect of a lake. Beyond the high barbed wire walls of these stages was the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, where famous persons including Johnny Ramone are buried. The show later moved to MGM Studios where they rented just one stage, since most of the show had been shot outdoors since day one. Landon hired five sets of real-life siblings to appear on the show. Melissa and Jonathan Gilbert, Laura Ingalls and Willie Olson, Lindsay and Sidney Greenbush, Carrie Ingalls, Matthew and Patrick Lavierto, Albert Quinn Ingalls and Andy Garvey, Brenda and Wendy Turnbaugh, Grace Ingalls, and Jennifer and Michael Steffen, Rose Wilder. The casting director for Little House, Susan McRae, auditioned 500 girls for the part of Laura. There was one scene that I did with Melissa Sue Anderson about untying the dog, and then there was another scene I did with Mike about him not being sorry that Jack drowned. I'm sorry, Pop. I'm sorry about what, half but Sorry for thinking you didn't care about Jack being drowned. And I found out later, many, many years later, that when it came time to take the screen test to the network, he only took mine. And good. In the very beginning, I didn't even know what I was auditioning for. And I think they had at least 200 girls for each. They narrowed that down to 10 or so. And then they narrowed that down a little bit more and we had screen tests. I left and they were still doing other Laura's and other Mary's and I thought, well, one of them will probably. Although not true to the novels, the cast and crew were like family and the children were disciplined. The child actor law stated they could only work an eight-hour shift. Four of those had to be schooling, and an hour was given for recreation. So only three hours could be used on set. The scheduling process was very intricate and had to be worked around the kids. Melissa Gilbert had a horse and rode it during breaks. The adults carried shovels to behead the venomous rattlesnakes. Melissa Gilbert and arch enemy Allison Arngrim are and have remained good friends in real life. An episode was usually filmed in a week and around seven takes were shot for each scene. Landon often sent the crew home by 4 p.m. to spend time with their families. A staggering 15 script pages could be shot in one day. You really think so, Johnny? Sure I do. You know, I don't know any other girl in the whole school can put a wiggly worm on the hook the way you do. Physical conditions were brutal. 110 degree heat or freezing cold, mud, and no bathrooms. However, these conditions gave the cast a sense of place. On location, the cast and crew ate in a chow line. At Paramount Studios, members of many Hollywood productions gathered for lunch in the commissary. In 1982, the show had lost many viewers and the Little House series was canceled. Three movie specials allowed the show to live on for another one and a half years. Dismantling costs were high to return the set land to its original condition by agreement. So Landon decided to blow it up for a dramatic end to the series.
reruns across the globe means this idyllic show lives on in the lives of many. Little House on the Prairie provides a safe and caring environment for viewers and has had and will continue to have an impact on the lives and morals of many. Robinson's Serving History